You use so much energy during the day trying to get things done and it's important for your body to have time to recuperate. Generally, we recommend that adults get about seven hours of sleep a night. And if you are able to get a fully recharged night's sleep, then you wake up feeling refreshed and you're more able to do things the next day. One of the first things that I recommend is that you disengage from your electronics. Our smartphones and computers are designed to stimulate us. So if you use those right before bed, you might have more trouble sleeping because they stimulate your brain. I always recommend that you turn those off about 30 minutes before you want to go to bed. I suggest that you do things like read a book, flip through a magazine. Another suggestion I have is to write in a journal because if there are things that have been bothering you throughout the day, you can get them out of your head. If you have a to-do list, you know that you're taking care of that before you go to sleep. Another major thing that people don't realize is that the caffeinated drinks that they're using to stay awake during the day may be causing a problem at night. So we usually recommend that you stop caffeinated beverages at least four to six hours before you want to go to sleep. You want to set the mood by trying to have this unwinding routine, turn off those electronics, eliminate the caffeine, and do something relaxing. You know, taking a warm bath or a warm shower, spending some quality time with your family, talking about their day, things like that are good ways ways to unwind before you go to bed. Some people have problems sleeping that are not just behavioral. They may have a physiologic or body related problem such as sleep apnea. So if you find that you snore a lot and you wake up choking, you might need to be evaluated for sleep apnea. You should discuss this with your doctor. Our sleep center is available at East Jefferson for evaluating sleep problems.